Hey Leo, happy new year. Welcome to your general love reading for January 2022. This is going to be for sun, moon, rising and Venus signs in Leo. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. So let's see, what is the overall message for Leo? <laughs> Reinvention, that's so funny. Aries just got that. So maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries. Or maybe you're an Aries cross-watching for a Leo. I don't know. <laughs> but okay, reinvention. So something new. Something new is beginning. Um, things just shifting in a way where they're going to feel like they are reborn or reinvented. All right. So let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of January. And do keep in mind the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, Leo, let's see. For the situation, we have Justice crossed by the Empress. Wow, okay, that's a very, very strong way to start the reading. Um, <laughs> justice is all about things coming into balance. It could even be legal matters for some of you. Um, karma playing out in a way where justice is being served. I feel like this also has to do with you um, showing up here as the Empress. It's really just about allowing this to happen. Feeling confident that actually things are working out in the way that they are meant to. Things are coming into some form of an alignment. But let's continue. So let's see. For your recent past, we have the Hierophant, your current energy strength, and near future, Seven of Swords. All right, really interesting. You know, two major arcana cards here. The main energy was two major arcana. Um, yeah, you're... I feel like at the moment, at least, you're trying to be strong. Or if you're not trying to be strong, something is happening that is actually forcing you to become stronger, okay? So if you're going through a difficult time right now, know that you are becoming stronger through this, all right? For the recent past, there's definitely been, um, I feel like there's a commitment here. And I feel like it's showing up in your past because maybe it's not in your present at the moment so there may have been some kind of a separation or just some kind of of distance we'll see let's see for them uh recent past the knight of pentacles current energy the nine of swords and near future the four of cups potential outcome we have the sun all right i love how you're showing up twice in this reading at least two times because i feel like you're also showing up as this empress but we have strength and we have the sun and the fact that we're getting the sun as a potential outcome i mean i don't think we could have asked for a more positive potential outcome here all right, so for this person, we have the Knight of Pentacles in their recent past. Um, there's something that they're trying to do. I feel like this is some kind of effort to get on the right path, but it could be that whatever that effort was or whatever that right path is, it just felt like it was taking forever. Um, this person at the moment is going through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, um, a very, very difficult time, and I wouldn't be surprised if you are also going through something similar, having strength here. So it's interesting that in the near future, the cards actually, for both of you, they don't feel all that great. So I feel like there's still some, some disappointments or some difficulties coming up between the two of you or for each of you, but... Again, I feel like this is all happening because it is making you stronger and possibly this um, person that you're dealing with is learning some kind of a lesson because in the potential outcome, we do have happiness for the both of you. Okay, so let's clarify. So let's see, Justice. With the Empress, some of you might be dealing with the Libra. We also have Taurus. Of course, we have Leo also showing up twice. Definitely let me know what sign you're dealing with. All right, so for this main energy here, we have the Five of Wands. 
the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Fool. Like again, I'm I'm just astounded at the um, amount of major arcana cards showing up here. Things are definitely shifting, and we have the Fool here. Things are definitely moving towards that reinvention. All right, the wheel is turning towards the Fool, so. The wheel is turning in a way where things are happening in a very like unexpected way. Something is going to be new. Something is going to be, um, it's going to feel like you weren't even expecting this. I, it's already happening, whatever that is. Like that wheel is already turning. This shift is already happening. That justice is being, it's being served basically. It's happening, whatever that is. The whole issue here is how you're feeling throughout the midst of this because I feel like you might not be aware of what exactly is going on and that's why we have this um, ten of wands and the five of wands because it feels like you're just feeling so overloaded by this experience or by whatever it is that you have gone through it has been like a very long long road for some of you um, and there has been so much conflict and it almost feels like you're kind of fighting with your own self. However that makes sense to you. Because it, it really feels like you're fighting with your own self here. And Spirit is saying, no, 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 you know, just allow things to be. Things are happening. It almost feels like you, your, your energy is just interfering with it. It's still happening, but it's like you're just bringing this... Um, like some kind of a resistance or some kind of a heaviness to this. And Spirit's like, no, but the wheel is turning. Just allow it to be. Just trust, in other words. It could even be that for some of you there's been a lot of, um, and not for all of you, but for some of you there's been a lot of tension and arguing and just conflict with this other person where it just feels like, you know, there is no way out. Like, but again, that wheel is turning. All right. So let's see, let's see for your energy. Let's see the higher things in the recent past. All right. Yeah. The tower and the three of pentacles. Yeah, you feel like this connection was just destroyed. Um, and I feel like it it was like everything just felt shattered. Everything felt shattered with this person. Um, for some of you, there may have been um, another situation that was happening here, all right? A third party situation maybe for some of you. But it just definitely feels like whatever this connection was, um, it was just like, it just felt like it was destroyed big time. For some of you, it could even be that you were also you tried to possibly maintain some kind of a relationship with this person. This isn't going to resonate for all of you. Some of you may have a, tried to maintain some kind of a friendship, and it's like that didn't work out either. So let's see for them. Let's see this Knight of Pentacles for their recent past. The Seven of Swords and the Moon. Okay, so in the recent past, this person, or, you know, I mean, time is relevant, okay? So maybe it's a distant past for some of you. Recent can really, it can mean a month ago, it can mean a day ago, it can mean years ago, okay? Really just depends. So for um, the recent past, for them, Seven of Swords and the Moon, they were trying to get on the right path. I feel like, again, this is something that they were trying to do possibly over and over and over again, and maybe they were going through cycles. Um, and it's like, one minute they were on the right path and then the next minute they were sneaking away almost from that right path. So never really fully um, able to get on that path in a very stable way. I do get that they tried though. They were definitely trying but there's the seven of swords telling me that well yeah but then they were kind of turning their back to it or just moving away from that giving up. 
possibly even being um, deceitful, either to you or to their own self, or maybe even both. Definitely feels like it was a pattern though. Some of you might be dealing with the Pisces as well. All right, so let's see what's going on currently. Let's see strength for you. All right, we have death. Okay, so Scorpio also showing up, which was also pretty strong in the Aries reading. Um, and the five of pentacles. All right, death and the five of pentacles. Okay, you're learning strength. You're finding your own strength. I feel like your strength, it's like it's being stretched to its limits right now. Um, because you're definitely dealing with some kind of an ending, some kind of a transformation, possibly feeling rejected, feeling abandoned, not feeling very good here with that Five of Pentacles. Definitely a feeling of loss, possibly for some of you, also a feeling of um, loneliness. Know that through that, your strengths are being tested. It's like not even tested because your strength is there. It's being built. It's being stretched to its limits. That's just how it's coming in. So yeah, I was right when I was saying with the strength part, I feel like you're also going through something very difficult and it's really processing this transformation or this um, shift, this some kind of an ending here that's left you feeling like you're at a loss. Let's see for them. And I feel like, you know, it's only going to get better, all right? It's only going to get better because you are you are finding that strength. That's the whole thing here. And the more that you allow yourself to see that strength and to focus on, all right, look how strong I am because look how far I've made it, you know, like I'm still getting through, the easier it's actually going to be. So for them, for the Nine of Swords, we have the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords. Oh, yeah, you know, they're... They're not having an easy time either. <laughs> there, um, there's a lot of stress here on this person. And when I say stress, I mean like a lot of mental energy. A lot of mental energy. They're trying to move away from something. They're trying to move towards... Um, calmer waters, basically, towards peace. I feel like they're dealing with a manipulative situation. Again, I feel like that also came through in Aries reading. And this manipulation might even, it could be from somebody on the outside or it could even be their own self, like trying to manipulate their own self in a way where it's just creating more stress for them. But at the same time, just like I feel like you're moving forward, right? You're finding your strength. This person is also gradually moving away from that, whatever that is. That's creating that, that stress and moving towards some kind of a resolution. At least they're trying to. See what's coming up. So seven of swords for you. We have the knight of pentacles, which is really interesting because because <laughs> they have the seven of swords clarifying the knight of pentacles. You have the knight of pentacles clarifying the seven of swords. So there's a little bit of mirroring here. Um, yeah, I feel like you know you. This is you not really knowing what's going on. You don't know if this person, you're not trusting of whether this person is getting on that right tr track or not. Because in the past they were getting on that right track for a bit only to go, you know, on the <laughs> back on the wrong path. Whatever right and wrong means to you, okay? Um, and so right now, in the near future, it's showing up like you just not being trusting of that. You're being you're worried about them getting off that track and not really being able to trust them anymore. Let's see for them. Just not trusting this connection overall. 
So for them, for the Four of Cups, we have the Seven of Pentacles. They're still going to be in this um, energy of being depressed, feeling disappointed, possibly in their own self with whatever it is that may have happened here, or just disappointed in this, the way that things have worked out so far. But we do have the Seven of Pentacles. It's interesting because they're disappointed that they feel like they have put in this effort and they haven't gotten the result. Why? Well, because they kept walking away from that effort, like never fully going through with, with it. But it feels like that's shifting here because I feel like they're it feels like this time with that seven of pentacles like they're really planting those seeds even if they are depressed even if they are feeling disappointed I don't see them giving up and especially having the sun as the potential outcome so let's clarify that the sun we have the nine of wands and we have the devil okay interesting because we have two cards that are kind of difficult energies to deal with clarifying like the most positive card ever so there's definitely this um potential here for something very very beautiful however the message here is that there are things to that need to be worked out in order to get to this perfect happiness fulfillment love and anything else positive that you can think of. So it is, and I'm also getting like, you know, it's, I feel like um, for most of you, this is something that has been ongoing for a while, as I said in the beginning, and I feel like it's almost there. It's almost, it's almost at the end. The message here is to not give up, not necessarily on this connection, okay? Take the message as it resonates. It's to not give up on battling whatever your fears are, whatever it is that is toxic, whatever it is, you know, that was um, keeping you back, whatever it is that is troubling you here. And whatever it is for this person, right, I feel like that has to do with this pattern, right, Th those cycles that they were repeating over and over again, getting on the right track and then getting off of it and then getting back on and then getting off of it. For some of them, it could be an addiction. For others, it could be, um, you know, resolving a fear of commitment. It could be anything. So what I'm getting here, yes, there's a potential here for happiness. But there's still a couple of things that need to be worked out and that will possibly, you know, even during that happiness, like if you do come together with this person, if that's what you want, if that's what this happiness means to you, there will still be things to, to resolve and work out. If this is, um, if happiness to you means being, you know, completely detached from this connection, again, you can have that happiness, but there are still things that you might need to work out within your own self in order to get there. Toxic patterns, for example, that might repeat themselves, but you're totally capable of doing it. Your message is to not give up. All right, Leo. Let's see. Final message for Leo, please, if this resonated. Alright, and we have the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Somebody's commitment is being tested here. Um, and when it says tested, it's not a test to see if you pass or fail. That's not what this is about. It's, it's for your own self to see where you stand. It's for your own self to see that strength. It's for this person to see their strength as well when it comes to getting on that right path, whatever that means for them. And like I said, it is happening, right? Let's not forget our very first card out here is justice. So things are working out. It's just, it's a tedious process. It's definitely feeling difficult as well as challenging, but it is happening. And it is moving towards that ultimate happiness here. So, Leo, yeah, those were your messages. I hope this all made sense. And thank you so much for watching. Much love.